Very, very okay. You'll love this recipe. Especially for the Very, Very Okay channel. It's very easy to make and I will explain step by step how you can make a sauerkraut mix with red and green cabbage. The taste is wonderful and it's super healthy. Red or purple cabbage is a type of cabbage, just like green cabbage. It is therefore also well suited for making sauerkraut. However, red cabbage will have a sweeter and milder taste than green cabbage. During fermentation, the red cabbage will take on a slightly translucent dark pink color. This combination is perfect for hot dogs, chicken, steak, and you can even mix it with other types of salad. This salad I make is a mix of cucumber, tomato, carrot, and soon I will bring this recipe to the channel because this salad can be consumed within a week and is rich in fiber and vitamins. So if you like our content and want to gain valuable knowledge and wonderful recipes, take the opportunity to subscribe to our channel. This way you help us produce much more content, mouth-watering recipes, and a lot of information for you to improve your knowledge in cooking. Oh, and don't forget to give your like, share with your friends. Very, very okay. So let's start our step-by-step -step tutorial. Here I have green cabbage and also red cabbage. Usually, I use more green cabbage, so I prefer to buy a larger one, and the red cabbage a smaller one. Well, you can try to also use half red cabbage and the other half green cabbage. In my case, as I have made this recipe several times, I prefer to do it this way. And yes, it will yield a lot of sauerkraut, and you will be able to include it every day during your meals without a problem. Just be careful not to overdo it, especially if you can't consume a lot of salt. But in my case, I am using a good quality salt, yes, that's a great tip you can follow. Buy a quality sea salt, and you will benefit much more. After washing the cabbage well, and of course, make sure to wash your hands well. I'm going to start first with the green cabbage. With a very sharp knife, I'm going to cut it this way and remove this piece from the middle of the cabbage or the cabbage core. and soon I will weigh the cabbage. Based on the weight, I will calculate the amount of salt. Here I have approximately 1.4 kilograms of green cabbage. I will set it aside to continue later. Now here I have the red cabbage. I will do the same process, cut the cabbage core. Here I have approximately 500 grams of red cabbage. Based on the weight of the cabbage that I will use, then I will use 39.56 grams of salt. For example, if you use 1 kilogram of cabbage then you will use approximately 20 grams of salt. To be more precise, when making sauerkraut, the ratio of salt to cabbage is 2.25 to 2.5% salt by weight. The salt I am using is a good quality salt. Yes, this is very important and makes all the difference. I will start to cut the red cabbage this way. You can do it calmly and without haste to have a good result at the end. After cutting, I can set it aside in a dish. I will cut the green cabbage in the same way and set it aside in the same dish. The order doesn't matter since the sauerkraut will be a mix of green and red cabbage. Yes, I will continue to cut all the remaining cabbage and then show you how the fermentation process will begin. Here, as you can see, I have quite a lot of cabbage. I'll set some aside and add the rest later as my dish is quite full this time. But don't worry, as you start to mash the cabbage it will become easier, and even fun I'd say. I'll start adding the salt gradually and then I'll start working with my hands. Yes, it's a process that requires a bit of patience. If you've tried before and it didn't work out, try following my step by step and you'll get a good result and be able to make this many times for you and your family. Soon, I'll post a video about the benefits of adding red cabbage to the fermentation. So subscribe, leave your like, and share so you don't miss the next videos. Now, I'll add the salt and mix in the rest of the cabbage. Yes, it's an exercise you do with your hands as you squeeze the cabbage. 
but I prefer to make a large quantity as I can make many meals and get the benefits of the probiotics and the sauerkraut. The taste is really good, so I'm sure you won't regret it. After squeezing the cabbage a bit, I'll let it rest for 40 minutes. The fermentation process is about to start, and it's much easier this way. Okay, now I'm going to show you the process. Yes, I'll keep squeezing and mashing the cabbage, and then the liquid starts to form. It's important to have a good amount of liquid as it's part of the fermentation process. Ah uh, yes, red cabbage has more antioxidants so you should definitely try this recipe. After mashing the cabbage, this time I mashed it for about 2 minutes, now I'll let it rest for another 40 minutes. Finally, after 40 minutes, I'll show you again. As you can see, I have a good amount of liquid in the bowl, and that's a good sign, a sign that the fermentation process is going to work. After I mash a bit more, I'll wait another 40 minutes and then I'll start transferring the cabbage to a glass dish. Okay, now I'll show you again. Here I have a large glass dish. I'll start putting the cabbage into the dish. I have this kind of tool that I'll use to mash it a bit this way. Since I have a lot of cabbage, I want to make sure there will be enough space in this glass dish. This glass jar is about 2 liters. If you're making a large quantity of cabbage, I suggest you divide it into 2 glass jars. I prefer to use glass as a dish because it's antibacterial and safer if you use a glass dish or jar. I'm showing my large dish but then I realized that it was a lot of cabbage so I decided to use another dish to divide it because it's necessary for you to have a bit of space for the gas to escape when you open the dish. I'll explain the second step soon so if you like this video please leave your like and subscribe very very okay. You can see the remaining liquid and now I'm going to add the liquid to cover the cabbage. Yes, that's one of the secrets. The liquid has to cover all the cabbage. Yes, after I recorded the video, I noticed that this time there was a lot of cabbage, so I set some aside to ferment in another dish. I'll put the date to start the fermentation process. Normally the process can vary from 1 to 2 weeks. Here, as it's hot, I'll leave it for approximately one week. I'll keep it in a ventilated and dark place. Now I'll show you, it's very important to open the dish every day. And open it slowly because there is gas inside the dish due to the fermentation process. It's not a very strong smell but for some people who are more sensitive, it may not be pleasant. Once you open the glass dish, you can put it back and let the fermentation continue. So the tip you need to take note of is, open it every day, once a day, to let the gas out. While you're doing the fermentation process, you should preferably keep it in a ventilated and dark place. If you have a lot of cabbage, then I advise you to use two or more glass dishes because the good bacteria will produce gases so you need to have space for this to occur correctly and safely. I made the mistake of using only one dish at first and didn't leave any air space, but on the second day I set some aside and put it in another dish. Another important tip, you need to cover the cabbage liquid enough for the fermentation process. The sauerkraut mix has turned out this color, a bit red. The color is vibrant and yes, most importantly, the taste is delicious and it's super healthy because it contains good bacteria due to the fermentation process. Now I'll show you the options you can make for your everyday meals. Here I prepared a delicious hot dog with chicken sausage and mashed potatoes. I'll bring this mashed potato recipe soon, it's wonderful. Here I prepared a delicious steak, rice with quinoa and turmeric accompanied by sauerkraut also a great option. Here I prepared chicken breast with mascarpone, yes it's delicious. I'll bring this chicken recipe soon, it's a perfect combination with sauerkraut.
If you're loving the scrumptious recipes, invaluable cooking knowledge, and expert skills we're sharing here on the Very Very OK channel, we'd be thrilled if you could show your support by hitting that subscribe button, smashing the like button, and spreading the love by sharing our content with your friends and family. We're committed to helping you elevate your culinary game, so stay tuned for more fantastic content. Together, let's cook up something amazing, very, very okay.